Hi, my name is Kweko. I am a pharmacist. Today, I want to answer a seemingly popular question, which is which blood pressure reading, the systolic or the diastolic, which is a more accurate predictor of heart disease. Now, as you're probably already aware, blood pressure is one of the vital signs that indicate how well your heart and blood vessels are doing or are functioning. It is measured by two numbers, the systolic and the diastolic. The systolic blood pressure, the top number, measures the force the heart exerts on the walls of the arteries each time it beats. So anytime your heart goes boom, you know, the, the pressure that is generated in the arteries at that point is called the systolic blood pressure. The diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, measures the force the heart exerts on the walls of the arteries in between beats. Now, according to the American Heart Association, normal blood pressure is less than 120 over 80. So any numbers that you get that is 120 over 80 or below is considered normal. Elevated blood pressure is when the systolic, the top number, is between 120 and 129 and the diastolic is 80 or less. If the systolic rises to a range between 130 and 139 and the diastolic also rises to between 80 and 89, then you are considered to be in stage 1 hypertension. Stage 2 is when the systolic rises to 140 or higher and or the diastolic is 90 or higher. And then you are considered to be in hypertensive crisis if your systolic, the top number, is 180 or more and or your diastolic is 120 or more. Now, so which number is more important and a more accurate predictor of heart disease? The answer is not so simple as both numbers have their significance and their implications for your health and depend on age, risk factors, and other health conditions. For most people, however, the systolic blood pressure is more important than the diastolic blood pressure as a predictor of heart disease and stroke. This is because systolic blood pressure tends to rise with age as the arteries become stiffer and narrower due to plaque buildup and just generally the natural aging process. High systolic blood pressure can damage the heart and increase the risk of a heart attack, heart failure, and aortic aneurysms. Now, aortic aneurysms are balloon-like bulges that occur in the aorta, which is the main artery that carries oxygen-rich blood to the rest of your body. Now, this bulging can be dangerous because if it gets too big, it might, it might pop or burst, causing serious internal bleeding. Now, does this mean that we can totally ignore diastolic blood pressure? Of course not, especially for younger people. And when I say younger people, I mean people less than 50 years who may have what we call isolated diastolic hypertension. Now, isolated diastolic hypertension occurs when someone has elevated diastolic pressure, which is defined as um, greater than 80 millimeters of mercury, but normal or near normal systolic blood pressure, which is typically less than 140 millimeters of mercury. Now, there's no denying that isolated diastolic hypertension can also increase the risk of heart disease and stroke by damaging the small arteries in the brain, in the kidneys, the eyes, and other organs. So let's look at it this way. When the top number, the systolic blood pressure, goes up, it's a pretty clear sign that your risk of heart disease has gone up too. But when the bottom number or the diastolic pressure goes up, there's a chance that your risk for heart disease is higher, although we are not completely certain about it. This is because based on what we've learned from past studies, the connection between high diastolic pressure and predicting heart disease isn't as strong as the connection between high systolic pressure and heart disease. But if you were to ask me, however, I will personally err on the side of caution and assume that anytime my diastolic pressure is up, it's also an indication that potentially my heart disease risk has also been elevated and take attempts to rectify the situation. So this is the bottom line. Both systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings are important and should be within the normal range to prevent or reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. However, for most people, the systolic blood pressure is more important than the diastolic blood pressure as a predictor of future cardiovascular events. I certainly hope you found some value in this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button as well. Catch your next video and stay blessed.